hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at this new tool called as any llm which is a python sdk that provides a single interface to use different llm providers this tool has been developed by mozilla it offers a simple unified interface where one function works for all providers that allows users to switch models with just a string change this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please like the video and subscribe as it helps a lot. Now, in this video, we are going to install this locally and I will also show you a few code examples as how you can easily use it and you can do drop and replacement of various providers. The library is designed to be developer friendly with full type hints for better IDE support and clear error messages. It uses official provider SDKs when available to reduce maintenance burden and ensure compatibility while staying framework agnostic so it can be used across different projects and use cases. You must be wondering how exactly it is different from other uh, similar tools like Light LLM, Open Router, Port Key and the list goes on and on and we have covered all of them also on the channel. I will be telling you that shortly but let me start the installation and then we will grow from there. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card because I will also be using Olama based models which are local models in addition to one of the API provider and you can use any provider and the list will be shown shortly. So this is a GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM which I am going to use. I am going to start by creating a virtual environment with Conda and if you are looking to rent a GPU or VM on very very affordable prices you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus so please do check them out i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will also find the link in videos description okay so that said and done let me now take you back and we will get the installation underway now for the installation part you can simply install it with any of the provider like olama or mistral openai anthropic and i will show you the list shortly or you could just simply go with all and it is going to install it on your local system so if you go to their documentation, these are, <clears throat> sorry, all of the providers. So you can see that we have AWS, Twinthropic, Fireworks, Moonshot, and the list goes on and on. And I'm more than sure this is going to grow quite nicely. And if you don't know what Olama is, Olama is the tool to run models locally in a quantized or full format. I have done heaps of videos on the channel. So if you're interested, just search with Olama and you should be able to find a lot of them in addition to the other tools which i mentioned earlier like light llm open router and others okay so you can see that everything is installed now i already have olama installed and i have few models running i will be using olama and i will show you with openai but you can use any provider from that list and if you don't know how to install olama as i said just either search on my channel or just click on download button from olama.com for linux run this command and for mac and windows download this sexy and run it accordingly just we do with axis okay so now we have olama and for openai of course you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key which is a paid option so i already have my key in our installation of um, this any llm is also done these are the olama models if you want to download just to olama pool and model name colon tag but i already have it so i'm just going to use any one of them and i will show you in the code okay so for openai all i need to do is to set this api key from openai's website and as i said it's a paid option so just go to platform.openai.com so let me set my key and clear the screen and this is a simple code to use any llm all you need to do is to just import this completion 
function from any LLM, grab your API key from the environment, specify your portal, and then you can start doing the inference. So for instance, if I run this script here, this is going to use OpenAI. Now the beauty is that you can really replace it with Anthropics API key, you can replace it with uh, Mistral, and then so on and so forth. And you know what, you can even go with the multi LLM application here, you can just switch between them very, very easily. It's all OpenAI compatible API, which makes it so, so easy. And now for instance, you want to use Olama, all you need to do is to specify the model. So just replace OpenAI with Olama and then your Olama model and you can grab this value from here. As you can see that I'm running this Quen3. So let me, yes, it's saved. So let me go back and then run this app.py. And there you go. You can see that now it is using the Quen and it is a thinking model. So it has readily given you that. So of course you can just you know use any provider which I showed you from that list. Now the question is how this tool is different from the rest of the lot. Look, to be very, very honest, it's not that different, different, but there are a few differences. For example, uh, if you look at its architectural philosophy on its Git page and documentation, and also the approach, unlike some of the popular alternatives such as Light LLM, any LLM uses official provider SDK when available rather than re-implementing provider interfaces, which can lead to compatibility issues and unexpected behavior modification. For example, OpenAI keeps changing their a uh, lot of functions. It also distinguishes itself from proxy based solutions like op open router and port key by requiring no proxy or gateway server. So you re really don't need to deal with setting up any other service to talk to whichever LLM provider you need. The tool addresses the fragmentation in the LLM ecosystem where provider implements slight variations of the OpenAI API in standard, providing a light wrapper that gracefully handles these differences while maintaining a consistent interface for developers. And I, that I think is quite a good thing. And towards the end, let me show you this code, which is an actual code that is creating a two-step pipeline using the any LLM library, where OpenAI's GPT 4.1 model first generates a short creative story about a robot discovering emotions. And then Olama's Quen 332 billion model takes that generated story as input to provide a critique and an improved version. The output from the first model becomes a direct input for the second model. And that shows how different LLM providers can work together in sequence. And you can, you know, sky is the limit here for your imagination. Maybe you can get some hard work, uh, quick work done by API model, which is of course a costly one. And then you can do the mundane and longer task with local models running with Olama. So for instance, if I just clear this up and run this code for you, so it is generating the story, the step one through OpenAI, and then Olama is reviewing that story and uh, improving it. That is all it is doing. And there you go. So Quen has done improvement and also has written a critique and we all know that Quen is one of the fabulous models out there. I am I have always loved Quen a lot because of its quality and you can check out my channel for hundreds of videos on different versions of Quen. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what do you think about this tool. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.